And today we'll talk about Termix. So what is Termix? It is a terminal emulator and a Linux environment on your smartphone. It is easy to install. It doesn't need your device to be rooted. Just go to Google Play, search for Termix, and as you can see here, install it and open it as you do with any other application. So Termix is used for hacking. It is a very useful tool. You are on the run and you can hack on the run. Does it need root permission? It does not need root permission. Is it useful for programmers? Well, you don't, you don't have the facility of programming as you're doing on the Kali machine, but with uh, some like skills in programming are useful. You can hack anything. You can hack Wi-Fi, you can hack into networks, you can hack websites. Of course, you can hack Android devices as well using Termix. So let's go straight to open Termix here. The first thing you need to do is to update and upgrade your repository as we do in Kali Linux. So apt update, this is the first command that you need to run. Then after that, you need to run apt upgrade. So it will take a while here, then apt upgrade, but I will not run it because I will show you something else. But for the sake of being always updated and to avoid any failure in running any of the apps, just perform the update command. So I'll start by showing you a couple of cool things and how to get going in the Termix emulator or terminal. Now you can install a cool application called Cmatrix. So I'll just install it here. I'll use pkg. Sorry for that. Ta -ta 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 -ta. I'll just type it again. pkg, then install then C matrix. So just install that. And uh, now it's installed. I've already installed it before. To run it, just use C matrix and just press enter. It's a cool thing that will turn your smartphone into like a matrix kind of uh, a screensaver. I'm just showing you how to get along with the emulator. Now, this is a session and you need to kill it in order to go to, to another session. What you can do is to drag the window from the left side to the right. And as you can see here, we have this session. You can click on it and you can name it. I'll name it as a new matrix session and set. Now we have two sessions on the screen, the new matrix and the matrix. In order to kill the session, just click on the screen and then press more then press kill process. Now the process has been killed. You can press enter to go to the previous process. The previous process here as well is matrix. So let me show you something else. You can press on new session. You go to a new session. You can write, for example, top. It's a command that will show you the current processes running. So this is a better example. You can press on that, go to more, press on kill processes and Press enter and you will go to the previous session, which is the matrix session. Now let's go and create a new session here. After the apt update and upgrade. Another important command is Termix setup storage. Write that and press enter. Then it will ask you is going to be wiped, the uh, directory store is going to just press yes. So this command will give Termix access to your SD card and internal storage. So you can go do SD, CD, sorry, and then press forward slash, then SD card then do listing and you'll be able to see all the list here of the content on your SD card now I'll go to the downloads and do a listing I have installed a file called one click dot sh which is a file that has all the installation packages you need to install on your Termix to get started. 
I don't want to take you through all the installation commands because it's really hectic. So this file, I will give the credits to the creator. You can find it in the description below. It has all the commands. You can open it on any notepad application and you'll see all the list of commands. I'll just give you some highlights on those commands. So now we need to copy the one click file to our home directory. So we'll do CP. Then we will use the name of the file. One click. Then dot sh. So now we're copying the file name. Now we're copying the name of the file and the destination is home. Cannot start one. So now I need to copy the one click dot sh file to my home directory. I'll use cp then one click dot sh. Now I need to copy the one click dot sh file to my home directory. I'll use cp to as a command for copy, then one click dot sh, and then I will specify the destination which is home directory, and then we'll press enter. Now the file should be under my home directory. So if I do ls, now I'll go cd, then home. And if I do ls, I'll be able to see one click dot sh file. So how to install that? It's very simple. Just choose the shell command, one click dot sh file and press enter and wait for the magic to happen. This is a long process. It will take about five to 10 minutes, depending on your resources. It is recommended to install Termix on a mobile phone that has a three gigabytes of uh, internal memory. It is recommended to install Termix on a resourceful smartphones. Now all the new smartphones uh, are have good memory and storage resources, but in order not to jeopardize any slowness on your machine, make sure it has enough storage and enough memory. I have done that before. It took me around 10 minutes, but now you have everything, all the commands, all the packages, uh, all the applications installed on your machines so that you can do many things. So let's start with some of the cool commands we have seen top so let's see for example factor a factor command will give you the factorization of any number for example 9900 these numbers are the factor of uh, or the factorization of 9900 you can as well do some cool stuff with the fonts and the colorization so i'll show you some of the commands here you can use toilet command funny name huh so toilet command, let me have a space here, uh, dash F, and then I'll use the mono 12 font. I'll use F uppercase with hyphen. Again, there's a space. And as you can see, the toilet makes your terminal look like a text with some colors. So if you want to terminate the session, just press on that more, kill the process, and you'll be able to go to the previous process. Now let's go to a new session here. You can issue the command cal, which will show you the current calendar. Another command you can use is print working directory. You can use the same commands you use in Kali Linux in terms of, or Linux in general, in terms of creation of directories or folders. So, as you can see, this is a folder that we were able to create. You can access the storage by doing change directory, then forward slash sd directory, and then you can list, sorry, sd card, and then you can list the content. You can as well use editors like vim and i'll use the one click dot sh file so let's try to install them apt install vim you can as well install nano install any of these notepad editors so let's do the command again 
and as you can see this is the script that has all the commands and all the applications that need to be installed it has toilet for example we were able to use toilet installs python by default git uh, php perl and map you can use the same actual command that you use on Kali Linux and these are populated it's a very easy file it's a very easy method as well to be honest to, to use instead of typing all the commands you just run the shell command for once now we'll kill that process and open a new session now let's do something about so show you some commands at the, at the network level let's see for example we can use ifconfig it will give you all the details on your network card you can ping for example ping google.com ping google.com and here is the response let's kill that session let's open a new one let's for example test the installation of python this is python 3.8.5 let's quit that as well and let's see if python 2 is installed now let's see if python 2 is installed python 2.7.8 is installed let's as well see I'll close that for now open a new session let's see for example PHP uh, we'll check the version of PHP as you can see it is not very user-friendly in terms of typing but that's fine uh, US, uh, PHP 7.4.10 is installed we can use as well Perl, Ruby, you can put all of these commands into the oneclick.sh file.